Queens College is offering a course on the Eucharist in the winter semester. And the course is an attempt to explore the Eucharist by weaving together biblical, liturgical, historical, and theological dimensions. It hopes to deepen our awareness of the Eucharist as the prayer of the community. Using the Whitehead's method of transformative learning, the intention is to structure a conversation with three partners, namely our experience, our culture, and the Christian tradition. The first partner in the transformative learning is always our own personal experience, what we bring to the Eucharist, to be able to name it and explore it as deeply as possible. The second partner in the conversation is always culture. And culture is notoriously difficult to name. And it's also very difficult um, you know, to get a handle on in our culture because we're living it and we're breathing it. And the final partner in the conversation is always the tradition, all 2,000 years of it, but especially the tradition that we're living today. I want to, and what I intend to do, is use some modern theological reflection by Kevin Irwin on models and, or paradigms of the, universe, of the Eucharist. And to deepen the Eucharist even more, I would like to use Frank Anderson's book on making the Eucharist matter in our communities and in our own lives and in our churches. He asked some very key questions. Can the Eucharist have meaning today for people? Can we participate in it even more fully or is it just simply the prayer of the priest? And can it? can we have a deeper experience of the Eucharist in our everyday lives? Finally, all the Eucharistic prayers in the modern era did not come down from heaven, but they have long histories that go back into the early church. For years, in the Roman ritual, there was one Eucharistic prayer. In the Book of Common Prayer, there was one as well. But now in the revised Roman ritual, we have over 20. And in the Anglican tradition, in the BAS, we have at least six and more if you want to do more research. But Jasper and Cumming are the kind of the experts in this. And so we're going to use them to examine uh, with a view to entering into these Eucharistic prayers in a deeper way, more prayerful. And also, from my point of view, I guess, uh, the Eucharistic prayers are primary creed, even more primary than the Nicene Creed or the Apostles' Creed.